Wait, there's 40 Valkyries. RC, what? And we're off in the Coco Invitational with Kingsman starting it off with the very first attack here. Coming in with Root Riders. And the question is, the Frozen Arrow. Did Kingsman unlock it? Yes, and he's got it level 23. All right, well, this is the start of the Dragon Festival. And Kingsman's going to be rocking that frozen arrow here. You know these pro players are going to be wanting to use it, especially with any queen charges. With five root riders down, that's going to be coming in here with the lightning that took out, not the monolith, because it's still down to the bottom side of this base here, as that warden is taking some damage, getting through this royal champion slowly but surely, and that flame flinger needs to go for this town hall. So if he could grab this town hall... With the Flame Flinger, the Warden, though, needs to help somehow distract... Well, he's distracting. I was going to say he has to wait until this Expo goes down before dropping the Root Riders. Oh, 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 this is the only problem. If the Warden gets out of range of the Expo, yeah, that's the problem. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. He had to wait until the Warden was taking that Expo the whole time until it went down. But he had to use that early freeze as he continues his way threw into the middle of the space, pulling out the clan castle of ice golems, archers, and a continuous way through with healers now pushing in to heal up the root riders. As this flame flinger is not going to be able to help take out that town hall, its health is going to go away. As he does have the warden eternal tome with a level 17 rage gem here, pops the ability, continues his way in. The monolith is hitting some of the root riders, but they are protected. The flame flinger is about to open up. Poison spell is now... Oh, finds the Zygian man outside, but the super minions snipe the poison spell. Are they going to be able to snipe the town hall with a few of their shots? And, and, and... No! No, no, but the fire spirits, the fire... He's okay, the fire spirits will get it. The town hall will go down. It's okay. Don't worry, don't sweat. He's still... It will go down. Just believe... Oh, wait, no, it won't because the builder hut. No, the builder hut won't let it go down. Never mind, I take that back. I take that back. Hang on. Uh, there was a Builder Hut there. The Fire Spirits would have if the Builder Hut was not there. Um, but he's fine, right? He's got King Ability. He's got the Frozen Arrow that's helping this Queen. But she's not even hitting any defenses. There's a Wall Break. He's got RC Ability. There's the Rage leading his way through. The tunnel's getting healed up a little bit. There's the King and his ability going through. RC's ability skips, hits the town hall, but doesn't take it down. Pops queen ability. Oh my, this is a headhunter. A ground skeleton pops. Oh boy, the town hall goes down from the royal champion. And Kingsman delivers for three. Kazuma is in now to answer. They don't have to be creative for all their attacks. I think... At least one of each player has to bring at least one creative attack in this match for the Coco Invitational. And that's why you're seeing a bunch of barbarians, a bunch of archers, and a lot of sneaky goblins with five healers. And do we have the frozen arrow? I'm guessing we do. Level 10. Level 10 frozen arrow for Kazuma here. As that flame fling is going to clear the far left side with the queen now charging her way downside with the blue now in front. And that Flame Flinger is going to continue its way as the Queen's going to step in, helping to grab that Archer Tower. Going to help take out the enemy Royal Champion slowly, but sure. There's the Warden on air, though! Oh, no! We got an Air Warden here for Kazuma. I guess it's going to be a Coco Warden to protect the healers. <laughs> you know? You don't want to let your healers die. No, no, no. Sacrifice your Warden for your healers. I agree. It's smart move. It's the smart way to go. But luckily, there is no Seeking Air Mine so far. As he continues his way in, drops a Rage, wall breaks to give him access in towards the Eagle Artillery. Now he continues his way through with that Flame Flinger slowly clearing the left. The King does have the ability. 26 Gauntlet. He's going to absolutely, completely try to gut this whole section, including the Town Hall. And is getting so much value here. The Town Hall is going down. King comes back to life. Does he come back to life to help take that town hall down? And yes, the town hall goes down. That shouldn't be possible. That should not be possible. But the gauntlet allows you to do it. As the raw champion is now down. 
The warden did burn his ability, really protect this queen, and she's gonna have to continue. Oh no! She dies! No frozen arrow to help stop that incoming damage. The queen was not locking onto the defenses as Rockaloons and a Dragon Rider come from the left side as he rages up the Royal Champion, trying to get these healers to heal her up as the RC is invisible here. But he's got only 21 sneaky goblins left. His queen did not get the charge he was hoping for with that frozen arrow as the RC is going to clear this ricochet cannon. The Dragon Rider is continuing its way around. Nothing to pick it off other than these Builder Huts to damage it. The RC is going to have to burn her ability soon here. The Spear Fox is taking some damage and the Fox dies. So the RC will no longer go invisible. Trying to have these sneaky goblins distract. But that won't do anything. So he freezes. And the burn ability, the Dragon Rider goes down. Pops the RC ability. This is where he definitely needs her go to go invisible. But unfortunately, the Fox is gone. And we've got ourselves a defense here for Kingsman. We have sneaky goblins around. And they're going to help try to take out the storage. And no, sorry, not going to be a triple here. Remember, you don't have to be all creative for every attack. There is no judge voting like the Creative Master Series, which is coming soon in March. So keep an eye out for that. But nice try to you, Kazuma, as it's only a two-star. Try hard is in. And try hard's got... What is it? Oh, just straight up Queen Church Lalo. And we got... It. What? 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 No frozen arrow? No frozen arrow here for Tryhard? A level 18 healer puppet? What else we got? 21 gauntlet. 18 life gem. And maxed out RC. Okay. Well, this queen's gonna charge her way into the town hall. The invisibility spell is behind it. And this queen is slowly clearing... Oh, clearing the builder hut. More to... Ooh, a whole Tesla farm is popping up over here. Okay, but you're going to be able to clear that no problem. Oh, wait. The wall's opening up, which might force the queen into the... No, she still goes down to the town hall. Okay, he can freeze. There you go. I was going to be worried the queen was going to loop back up to the ground expo. But that's not the case. As the town hall does just go down as the invisibility spell is activated. Ice golems come out. There is a poison. There is a freeze onto the monolith. Will this queen be able to help secure the monolith in time? And no. He's going to have to rage up. Slowly getting through these ice golems. Now he's trying to distract the mortar so that it does not hit his flame flinger. He finds a tornado trap. Pops the ability. He loses spawn. And they get spun around pulling some red air bombs. Protecting the main healers. Okay. Protecting the main healers there. There's a couple giant bombs. Small bombs. Moving this queen through. Super Mini is coming out of that Flame Flinger. Finding more Teslas. There are more Wall Breakers to open up the core of this base to give him access to the Eagle Artillery. There is the Defensive Rage near the Eagle and uh, raging up all three multi-target Infernos as we got the Royal Champion coming down to the bottom side. Oh yes, the RC does have the Spare Fox on her as the Queen continues her charge into the core of this base with the King burning his ability to the top side. Standing the Warden with the Headhunters, and he does not pop the Warden ability to protect the Headhunters. So they all die. But there is no more heroes left other than Defensive King, which won't do anything to this Lalo. As he continues to fly around, freezing the top side into this multi. The Queen does grab the Ricochet Cannon, and Tryhard is going to deliver here for a 3-star. Well done to you does have an RC ability to use. It pops through 34 seconds. Plenty of time. And he's got a 3-star. But what creative attacks is Kingsman and Tryhard going to bring? In the Coco Invitational. Stars is up. Here we go. Stars has got a... What looks to be a Skelly Donal. I'm guessing what Stars' Frozen Arrow level is. And I'm guessing 20. No, 21. Oh, 17. Okay, he didn't get to the increment of 3 to 18. Okay, makes sense. Okay, level 17 frozen arrow here for stars. With that skelly donut looking to remove a monolith, a multi-target inferno, a ground expo, and he gets it all. He can't get that clan castle, right? No, no, no. That stays up. That is not going to go down. He's going to have the flame flinger clear the top side. 
whip a balloon into the Archer Tower. And we have the Flame Flinger. Trying to then go into the scatter shot. We do have a ground expo. With that king to the left. And the king is going to lead his way into this multi arch tower as this queen is going to path her way to the town hall. Baby dragon finds Tesla's. Some traps. Not going to survive that. Does have one wall breaker. The multi arch tower is hitting this queen. Drops a wall break to open up towards the scatter shot so that King can help clear that and the defensive rage. But he does lure out the clan castle. The town hall is activated, which will lock onto this queen here soon. And the King is not going for the scatter shot because of these archers, but the poison is down. And the queen is making her way to the town hall. The queen burns ability. Was the frozen arrow a game changer here? It is slowing up that town hall, does take it down, and the unicorn survives. So this queen can get slowly healed back up. As the Lalo is now coming through the bottom side here. He does have the Royal Champion. But the Lava Hound now redirects to his Queen. And he sends the RC underneath this Lalo. A bunch of Headhunters coming in. He's going to pop the Warden ability. There's a Rage. Queen pops the Hound. As he continues his way through over the Eagle Artillery. Making this look easy. Crushing through the core of the space. The Queen finally now dies. The Flameflinger is still going. But this base is is smashed taking out tryhard's base well done to you stars has two freezes and an invis left and the flame flinger is just about to open it might not even have to open there's some swag spells and stars crushing this one my goodness making it look easy well done stars kingsman is in and kingsman's got eight healers here with that 23 frozen arrow and a warden to start and we've got a owl on this warden it's either he forgot to change the owl or he did it on purpose i wonder which one it is i don't know <laughs> as we got a warden walk going we got a queen walk going as these balloons pulling some red air bombs as this warden and the owl is gonna die off here and we got that flame flinger now where the warden is and we got a recall spell to use. With a hog now deployed. Pulling some ground skeletons. It's going to go off to the warden potentially. No, it goes to the queen. We got a wall break to the top. Wait, where is this queen? Oh, she's going for the platform. And then where's she going after that? She's going for a wall. Oh, she's okay. This is not good. He recalls that warden. This... Oh, no. The town all activates. <laughs> no. Oh, it's not good. It's not good. The queen's got to beat through the wall. He has to use a wall break. He's got to slow the town hall down. Wait, you had the frozen arrow. You didn't have to do that. Okay. He forgot. He probably had the arrow to... All right. Well, let's see what happens. He's got a couple wall breaks. He's got to, he's got to adapt. He's sending the warden in now. He's got to change up the plan. There's the invis on the queen. Ow! No! The queen is dead! Rip to the queen through the eagle shots and the monolith down she goes. And now she's the warden walk to the core with ability. G decided to send in the RC, but he hasn't lured out the clan castle. Oh no, this is not good here. This is not good as the king's going to make his way into this multi. The multi arch tower and the defensive rage. This flame flinger is going to try to clear this side. And the warden is going to join in with the king. He's gotten close enough. He can pop the warden ability. He does just that. Out comes the clan castle. Archers. Ice golems. He does have a poison spell. He's going to have to pop king ability. Getting through the... Oh my goodness. That gauntlet is insane. Absolutely crushing through here. Continuing his way through as the RC now goes in for the eagle. Super minions come out. The eagle goes down. Going for that scatter shot as the royal champion continues her way through. Does have ability and an invisibility spell. Ricochet Cannon goes down. RC ability is forced. Oh, this Ricochet Cannon is barely going down. It's not down just yet. It finally will go down to the King as the RC tries to continue her way through. Uses the Invis. But it's not going to be enough here for Kingsman. That Queen going the wrong way. He wanted that Queen to go to the top side and probably have the Warden join in with the Queen there. But she went her own way towards the Town Hall. And this is a two-star here in this match it's going to all come down to percentage it's all going to come down to percentage that it does take out to that grand warden altar with that super wall breaker super barbarian down to the bottom side 
and we've got ourselves an 86% two. So let's take a look at the two stars that came from the other side. So that's an 86% two, and this was at 92% two. So if now we get that triple, we got the lead. One earthquake, eight Pekkas, four golems here. All right, Kazuma, what possibly do you have planned? What do you have cooked up here? Level 10 frozen arrow with that Pekka off to the right side, lightning it out, the monolith and the multi-archer tower with a golem off to the right as well. And the king is down and a log launcher to boot. It's probably got that giant golem at level 26 to four. So that queen is going to make her way towards this eagle artillery. That defensive rage is activated as the king's going to continue his way in. The Pekka is going to try to solo the multi-target inferno, which is actually pretty op there actually that's pretty smart look at this as he lures out the ice golems and rocket loons here the pekka is taking out the multi what the pekka took out the multi in just a few shots that was some fantastic value from that pekka as he continues his way of slowly moving around the bottom side of this base as the ice golems are going to die off we do have the rocket loon there but he's going to continue to protect this queen with a level 18 rage gem from that warden as he continues to make his way around. The log launcher is going to try to open up across these walls towards this town hall. More Pekkas are down. The royal champion has been deployed to the left side as the queen has finally now cleared these rocket loons. And we've got the Pekkas clearing this. The more Pekkas going into that multi. The logs are opening up towards the town hall. He still has the warden eternal tome to protect the queen, the Pekkas, and the smash right on through. Well, he's, got, he's got the freezes to boot. He could use the warden ability to protect. He's not using it just yet. Now he protects with that warden. Protects the royal champion. Protects the queen. As he pops the ability, slows down that town hall. And he's taken out the ricochet Ganon. Has three invises left. Pekka's around and Kazuma crushing through this one here. He does lose his queen, but it's okay as he burns the RC ability. There's a bunch of Pekkas. Look at this. He made this look easy. This actually looks like an attack that can work on many different bases. It's not one of those attacks that will just use... Look at this. And he swags. And swags and swags. The Zap Mass Pekkas. Jeez. Look at how many he has left. What an attack. OP from Kazuma. Try hard is in. And Triard's got 16 super barbs with six bat spells. Five lightning and a recall. We've seen it before where they... I, well, actually, no. We've not seen that town hall 16. We've seen that town hall 15 where they've used bats to take out a town hall and then recall the bats and then use them somewhere else. It's crazy. I know. I've seen Rukit do it. But let's see what happens here as Triard's going to move in. Still having that level 18 healer puppet here for his queen. As he charges in, there's the earthquake. There's the lightning to take out a sweeper and a multi-target inferno. As he wants to... Oh! We, oh, because we have a single over there. So he's going to bat wave. He identifies that there's no splash. So he can just bat wave his way through with Rakaloon's ice golems coming out of here. Archers as well. So the bats are going to just try to completely move through the eagle artillery and they make their way into the ricochet cannon and the scatter shot does kill the bats off as he recalls and sends that queen to the top side really breaking this base apart but unfortunately he didn't place that queen quick enough so the scatter shot did take those bats down so those rick those ricochet cannons do stay up as the queen is making her way through towards the scatter shot but the Ice Golems and Rakaloons have come through. Healers are did spawn from that Queen's ability. And we've got the Warden. The King. Gonna try to go through to the Town Hall. No more spells. We got a couple Super Barbs. We're gonna have to use the Royal Champion as well. The King's gonna be able to get through this Town Hall here. The Defensive Queen is gonna have to take on the Enemy Queen. And he, can he take her down? Yes, he kills her. Pops Warren ability to protect the king and his ability as he finds a tornado trap. Gets through the ground expo. Getting through this town hall here. 
as we got a headhunter into the defensive RC to the bottom side. His RC is trying to make her way into the monolith here. Does have her ability to try to continue to push through. This single target Inferno is hitting him. Doing quite a bit of work. Taking out an Electro Titan. But he does have the RC ability to skip through. She is going invisible slowly. The Ricochet Cannon is bouncing. But he's going to have to use the RC ability. Skips across. He does lose the Spirit Fox. The Warden trying to keep the RC alive. Not able to do it. And it's a matter of time. The King does have the, the Phoenix. Dropping a couple super barbs to the bottom side. He's got the minions to clear the ricochet cannons. But only 25 seconds left. Where do you drop the super barb? To the top side? To the storage up there? That's what I would do. Oh, rip. Only 14 seconds left. The king does come back to life with the phoenix. And it's going to be a time fail here for Mr. Tryhard. Nice try. Nice try, my friend. It's only a two. Here for Tryhard. 97%. Stars is in for the final attack here, my friends. And he must get... Wait. There's 40 Valkyries. Stars, you need to get a 92% two-star or better to win. And you're bringing a... every single one is a Valkyrie. Nothing else. All Valks. Seven laning spells. Lightning spells take out a Builder Hut, Scattershot, Rage Spell, Ricochet Cannon. Wow. Okay. And we got Valkyries out in front with this Queen. And he does not have the Frozen Arrow. He's going Archer Puppet here. Okay. As the Queen and Warden are going to make their way to the top side. We do have the Grand Warden up there. He does have a jump. Is he going to... Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. This The RC... Po okay. What are you going to do now, stars? The Queen's going the wrong way. What are you going to do now? Are you going to let the Queen go the wrong way? I guess you can't do anything at, at this moment. Good luck. Oh, no. This is not his plan. This is not his plan. The Log Launcher is now deployed to the top side. The Queen gets locked down by the single target Inferno. He's going to have to freeze it. He does. The Queen, he poisons. Does he jump? The Queen. Oh, he's got Velk coming to the bottom. So he does have the War Internal Tome. What is he going to do? Ouch. He's not popping the Warden ability. The Logs are from the Log Launcher trying to come to the top side. He pops the Warden ability now. He already burnt that Queen ability. Oh, no. That Queen went the wrong way. He got pulled to the enemy art world champion as he tries to now send his rc to the bottom side into that town hall he does have a couple more velks he needs a 92 percent two star can he get that the rc goes invisible he's got a freeze he finds a tornado trap he freezes the bottom side multi-archer tower oh no it's gonna be a one star he's got wait is it gonna be a one wait 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 spirit fox go invisible go invisible He's got it! Is he gonna three? Wait, what? He's gonna burn RC ability. She goes invisible again! No way! There's the ability! What? What? RC! What? How? He's still tripled! Stars! How? Imagine he did a triple the win. Bro. 46 Valkyries. And this man triples. What thought to be a one star at a loss turns into a three star. How? And they win by a star and they won by percentage as well stars and kazuma are advancing in the coco invitational gg